Welcome to my first video. My name is Hetra and I'm going to be comparing three free art programs today. We all know money can get tight, especially lately, and not everybody has hundreds of dollars to hand over to art programs every year. So the programs that I'm reviewing today are Sketchbook, Fire Alpaca, and Krita. And please keep in mind that this comparison is more based off of like a personal preference more than it is anything else. And you may be more comfortable with other programs or you know these programs might not offer enough features for what you're looking for. And I do not claim to know everything about these programs. I just really wanted to draw magical girls. I just wanted an excuse to draw magical girls. I just really wanted an excuse to draw magical girls. Just really wanted to draw magical girls. First up we have Sketchbook. So you can find Sketchbook in the App Store, and correct me if I'm mistaken, but I'm pretty sure Sketchbook is available on the iPad as well. And we'll get right into it. So I noticed that the navigation is kind of where I have my beef with this program. So there's no way to have a navigation window, and they seem to think you can rely solely on the touchpad. For navigating so that means rotating your image zooming in and out and while that seems like a great idea in concept for some reason with this program it's very laggy and unpredictable and my next issue is the hotkeys the hotkeys are a mess they don't resemble any previous program that i've used i managed to find one useful hotkey that switch just between two brushes um, but other than that yeah you have to click every single tool in order to use it and that just takes a lot of time i also personally found the multi-dimensional sliders that control the opacity the brush size and the color were just plain awkward but let's look at some pros shall we so in terms of the stabilizer function, Sketchbook has both a stabilizer and a predictive stroke, which both worked really well. Pen pressure is functional and uh, quite customizable. So you can adjust the strokes thickness and their opacity with your tablet's pressure. Um, there are more brushes than just the eight that are shown on the left there they have a whole library and they actually had some brushes that managed to create some texture funnily enough all three programs that i'm reviewing today have an animation function so sketchbooks is called flipbook and it's very simple not intimidating at all uh, which is good news for me because i'm brand new to animation and that about wraps up the first drawing And next up is Fire Alpaca. So Fire Alpaca is free to download from their website. Um, I don't recommend clicking that pink link. It's very spammy. So you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you get to the yellow download now and then select whatever operating system you're running. And yes, every time Fire Alpaca opens, it runs an ad, but it literally doesn't bother me. So this program is definitely quirky, but it has more features than Sketchbook while remaining fast and fairly intuitive. So navigating was kind of a setback for me because I'm used to using my touchpad for zooming and rotating, um, but with this program, it is rendered useless. I did also notice the gradient tool was low quality and some of the brushes are really lacking the texture that some artists are looking for. And for some positives, so hotkeys and navigation window, this really sped up my drawing process.
the fill bucket was also capable of referring to like other layers when you're applying the fill. So this really speeds up coloring your line art. And this is more of a side note, but there's also an option to turn off anti-aliasing. And when you pair it with the pixel grid, it allows you to make some pixel art. As I said before, Fire Alpaca has an animation function, which is still easy enough to understand, but definitely offers more features than Sketchbook. Two down, one to go. And last but not least, Krita. Krita? Anyways, it's available from their website. And just pick the operating system like before, and you're all set. So, I know I just got excited about hotkeys, but Krita's eraser hotkey kept tripping me up. So, you press E and it turns on the eraser, but my brain thinks that if you press another hotkey for like the pen or the brush, it would like deselect the eraser. It doesn't. You have to press E again to turn it off. The stabilizer would also occasionally lag or become unpredictable no matter how much I adjusted the settings. And I have seen online that I'm not the only one who struggled with this. However, Krita is very powerful by comparison to the past two programs, so there may be a bit of a learning curve. navigation with touchpad was flawless, 10 out of 10. And Krita really nailed textures in comparison to the past two programs. Krita also has vector capabilities, which is super handy if you're into design. As for Krita's animation function, it's pretty complex. It's definitely over my head, but I'm sure there's a tutorial out there. And that's the last one, folks. So that concludes the comparison of Sketchbook Fire Alpaca and Krita. I did also want to mention that all of these programs do save in a .psd file, so they do offer a cross-program compatibility. In terms of difficulty, I would definitely rate Sketchbook as the most simple and then Krita as the most complex. And while I am a little seasoned when it comes to digital art, that's not to say that I wouldn't recommend these programs to a beginner or a hobbyist. Because at the end of the day, it's not so much the program that you use so much as it is the person who's using it. So let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with me. Is there another free art program that you'd like to see me try out? Another magical girl you want to see me draw? And subscribe if you want to see more of my face in the future. And maybe share this with one of your friends who's an aspiring artist. Until next time.